Hey guys, it's Tony from Game Freak Blog here bringing you another video and what I have for you today is a bit of a GameCube goodie. One that not that many people have actually seen. This is PN03, alternatively known as Project Number 3. Um, when this game came out, it was originally, it was released in 2003 and it was originally part of what they called the Capcom Big Five on the GameCube. Um, Capcom decided to do five exclusive games, one of them which never saw the the um, never saw the light. Dead Phoenix, I think it was called. Uh, the, the, this was the first out of the big five to make it to the GameCube console, uh, along with the other exclusives, which didn't turn out to be exclusives for that long. Were Resident Evil 4, uh, Beautiful Joe, and um, what was the other one? Killer 7, that was it, which of course all came to the PlayStation 3. Now, not many people talk about this game. It's um, it's one of these games that's actually really hard, and I can see why people don't take a liking to it, because it's, it's very different. Um, typical Shinji Mikimi control scheme, is it, it, she controls like a tank, the main character there, Vanessa. Um, you've essentially got a jump button, a crouch button, a shoot button, your left and right triggers... Um, dodge to the side, kind of like a acrobatic sidestep manoeuvre, um, and then you've got a 180 degrees button, and it's 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 got a thumping soundtrack, and you've almost got to kind of get into the game and um, try and figure out what the game is actually doing. If you just start running around, just trying to shoot everything uh, that moves, you won't last very long at all. It t it takes you a few goes to get into it, but when you do, it's strangely kind of hypnotic. Now. I know you're probably saying, oh, pussy, playing it on easy. But there is a reason for playing it on easy, because the game is balls hard. It's so hard. And the reason why you play it through on easy is because you get to unlock loads of different suits, which I believe on your playthrough that you can come through afterwards, you can when you go on to normal mode, you can play the different suits, and it just gives you a different... Um, it gives you a bit more of a bit of breathing space, really, um, to, to actually get into the game and get a bit more fun out of it. So let's just uh, check in here. It's Arnie. From the future. Now you're probably going to hear me clattering buttons as we're going through this playthrough because um, the, for some reason the GameCube pad, I don't, you don't realise how actually loud it is. Especially the collar buttons, they're really clicky and triggery and snappy. Yeah, she's got that cool, cool swagger, cool dancing swagger going on. Not phased at all. Yep, that's how you dodge. So how do you like your new work environment? I feel at home already. So, um, yeah, basically this she, she's some kind of bounty hunter or something like that, and she gets employed to go in and take out these things. It's very reminiscent of... It's almost um, space invadery in a way. It's almost like a third-person 3D space invaders, um, just because of the the, the tank-like controls. And your tendency is when you first start playing the game that you just you, you just start and shoot everything that comes across your way. And what you've got to do, you've almost got to kind of pay attention to what they're doing, as you'll see here. And then when they start to open fire, you kind of spin out of the way like that. It's it's very deliberate. Um, and it, and it can be slow paced but at the same time quite fast paced I know that sounds completely contradictory but until you play it you kind of don't really I don't know, you've got, you've, it's one of those games you've really got to play my suit isn't that bad oh energy drive, special attack now saying about, about the tank like control system so it's essentially telling me here that I've got this energy drive super move type thing so what you got to do when you bring it up, as you can see there, you've got to press right, left, and then your A button. So essentially, you've got to take your finger 
uh, or your thumb off the thumbstick to move it down and get the um, strike, which is kind of really unintuitive. You know, you almost want to be keeping your, your, your fingers on the strike on your uh, movement button all the time anyway. Yeah, sod you. Let's get some energy strike going. Oh! So, yeah, you've got to keep an eye on where the enemy's going and kind of adjust your attacks according to that. It's, I mean, it's, when, you, when you start getting in there, it's pretty stylish. Until you get hit and look like a chump. Is that another thing there? No. Oh. I thought I'd get you. So this is essentially just the, the waste ground bit. We're heading to that um, uh, facility over here. Um, as you can maybe see and probably guess from the bars up in the corner, the, um, the green glowing globe Orbs, green glowing globes. Orbs fill up your energy, and the orange ones fill up your um, your super discharge meter type thing. Just so that sounds really horrible, discharge meter. Um, but yeah, it just fills up your meter so you can carry on doing that um, smart bomb kind of attack. Use the topography to your advantage. Basically, means is this little uh, thing in here. A couple of poses, but it's um yeah, it's a, it's a really hard game. I mean, it's a complete game game cube. I can't even talk today. GameCube exclusive. You know, you'll you'll, you'll never play this on another uh, console at all. And it's 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 just one of those games you don't really hear. Uh, anyone mention? You know, no one actually starts talking about. Oh, that piano three. That's what they call it, piano three. And believe it or not, this first level in the game is one of the longest ones in there. And it can be, as I said, just combined with the difficulty and combined with the length of this first initial stage, it can be a little bit off-putting. And I can, I mean, I, I, I didn't really play it to death when I first got it. I mean, to, to be honest. Um, I was playing it just before this. Um, I started recording this video just to get a bit of practice in, and that's the furthest I've ever got in the game. I got to like the third, um, the third. Oh, shite! Third lot of stages. Dodge. Yeah, I got to the third stage, which is as far as I've ever been. I was, I was really getting into it. Soundtrack's pretty, uh, pretty banging as well. It's quite a complex level, so you can do a spin. Take that scumbag out. There's some more. I don't need those energy things up here yet, but... Oh, shite. That's going to hurt. So you've got to be really quick on the uh, on the dodges there. I do need that bit of energy now. But you know, it's it's one of these it's, it's one of the good old school games where you know you have to really memorise uh, attack patterns. Oh, God Lord, you have to keep dropping down, and being stupid. And there's that bonus meter that keeps coming up for when you uh, are taking care of business and killing enemies or something like that. But I never seem to be that good that I can get the, uh, the bonus meter going up anyway. So you'll see there it's given me, I've cleared six rooms out of the 21 that we need to clear. And um, it just goes on forever, this first level. got to go back because there was that split in the road um, straight down here so we can just go straight along here. But you have got to 
also use um, the environment to your um, uh, benefit as well. This one's this bit's pretty tough. I'm going to kill everything in here. Some some of these things just keep spawning. They're like clatter. Some of that. top up of my energy. It's a bit confusing having to hit the um, well it's not it's not confusing having to hit the button but it's just a little bit awkward having to hit the uh, the is it the Z trigger, the purple trigger thing on the right corner of the game key pad. I can't remember what the bloody button's called. It's time, we you poser madam so guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much wrap it up here. I mean, I think you've pretty much seen what the game's got to offer. Some of the, the later levels do get frustratingly, frustratingly hard, but it's um, it's it's worth a it's worth a check out if you guys have got a uh, GameCube and you're looking for something that you you know you haven't really played or something that not that many people talk about. I'd highly recommend it. It's very old school. Um, it's pretty fun to play. It, it's extremely frustrating in places, just like here where I'm about to die. Oh, get up. There we go. Skills are like. But uh, yeah, project number three on the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, worth a check out. It's nice and fun, great soundtrack, nice crispy graphics to it. And um, yeah, if you're a fan of old school, styly, score based shoot em up games, I'd highly recommend it. Guys, Tony here from Game Food Blog. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye.